brought to you by the dedicated public access volunteers of Channel 18. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Thornbridge High School in Dalton, where tonight we've got the unbeaten Joliet Township team without a nickname, 20-0 on the season. They are an outstanding 7-0 in the Sicka West and are blowing away the competition in the Sicka West. They will take on the homestanding Thornridge Falcons, having a fine season, 15-5 overall. They are in a first place tie for the Sicka East lead with a 6-2 mark. They are tied with Thornridge. Make that with Thornwood. Thornridge tonight, a ball club that uh, has had a little bit of a rough go of it in January. Has had some very close games and talking with their head coach Jasper Williams before the ball game, he said they need to do better in the closing moments of a contest, handle the ball better, not turn it over, and make better decisions. And of course, tonight against Joliet, a team that is 20 and all, they hope to be in a position to be that close at the end of the game. Joliet, on the other hand, is led by an outstanding basketball player who receives a lot of press, 6'5 junior forward Gary Bell. Bell averaging 24.1 points per ball game is the go-to man on this team. The Joliet Ball Club is made up of uh, players from Joliet Central High School as well as players from Joliet West High School to form uh, Joliet. They merged, they have yet to pick a nickname, although it was written in a paper that it appears Steelmen will be the nickname once the school board approves it. So this ball game tonight an interesting matchup. Neither team really blessed with abundant size, but a lot of quickness, a lot of good defensive pressure expected, and it should be a fast-paced contest going both ways up and down the floor. Joliet will have the yellow pants, the dark blue jerseys, and of course, Thornridge in the powder blue and gray. And this ball game just about ready to get underway. Bell will jump center with Marvin Olivier, and Bell wins the tip. Joliet controls, Townsend gives back, and Calderwood will bring it up. Calderwood and Hosey, your guards. Towns in the center. Hosey with it. House on the bounce. House and Bell are the forwards. Calderwood. Calderwood, an excellent three point shooter. We got a whistle in the lane. Something away from the ball. A hold on Gary Bell. First personal foul of the basketball game. Thornridge will inbound the ball. Jameel Jones to put it in play. Jones looking, looking, looking. Gets it into Hawkins. LaMarcus Hawkins to bring it up on the bounce. John Lott. Olivier had it, lost the handle. Shot is up and in. John Lott opens the scoring in the ball game and Thornridge on top two to nothing. Ball taken away inside. Lott comes out of their high dribble, bounce pass up the court, lay up off the glass, no good. Rebound put back up, no good, rejected. Battle on that shot, this shot put up and off by Jones. Calderwood in a hurry for Joliet. Nice bounce pass, shot from the side is up and over the basket by Hosey. Rebound pulled out of there by Olivier. John Lott brings it up, check that battle, brings it up to Lott. Off Lott's hands, out of bounds. Last touch, they say, by Joel House, number 30 of Joliet. Well, a lot of action for two points on the scoreboard so far in this ball game. Thornridge in the lead with the basketball. Hawkins inbound. Lobs inside, Lott with it. Lott shoots and misses, rebound on the floor. Lott picks it up, lays up. No, can't hit the shot. Bell with the next rebound. Back comes Joliet, three on three. And Bell had it knocked away, a nice save by Lott, picked up by Hawkins, Hawkins on the drive. Glides in for the layup, whistle and a foul. And we've got bodies all over the place. Quentin Townsend on the floor, number 54. Blocking foul called on Marvin Olivier, number 42, his first personal foul in the ball game, first team foul on Thornridge. It'll be Joliet basketball. Townsend coming out, and number 44 on the lineup, Oku Satcher, who had a terrific game and a win for Joliet over Lincoln Way over the weekend. So Satcher in, Townsend out, Calderwood brings it up. Also Magus Brown, number 34 in the ball game. 
Calderwood drives, missed the layup. Rebound Olivier. Thornridge back in a hurry. Battle pushes it up. Battle back Jones for three. Yes! Jones for three. That's his 29th three-pointer of the season. Satcher, ball tipped out of, out of the uh, attempted pass to Calderwood. It was deflected by Battle for Thornridge. It'll be Joliet basketball. Joliet 20 and 0, rated number two in just about every poll conceivable in the Chicagoland area behind uh, Martin Luther King. Long shot by House is right there. He hit a three. And it's 5 3, Thornridge on top. Battle to bring it up. Picked up by Hosey. Battle on the drive, down the lane, lays it up, missed the shot. Couldn't believe he was that wide open. Ball loose, kick loose, it's a foot chase. Picked up by Hawkins, tied up. Loose ball, house, no, and a foul. Two shots coming. House will go to the line. Foul called on Olivier, that's his second. So the Thornridge center getting in a little bit of foul difficulty here with 5.24 left to go in the first quarter. Joel House on the free throw line. House of 5'11 junior. With two shots, he can tie up the ball game. Good look at him. First free throw of the ball game. Joliet hitting 63% of their free throws on the season. Shooting 48% from the field. And missed a pair. Rebound all out of there by Olivier. Back comes John Lott for Thornridge. Lott moves on Calderwood, shoots. Bank shot, no good. Tap, fight for the rebound, and another whistle inside. And Olivier picks up his third. Third foul on Olivier. He's going to come out. And number five for Thornridge. Ashmore in the ball game. House for three, new rebound, snatched down by Ashmore. Richard Ashmore, a 6'6 senior. Thornridge leading 5-3, 4.54 to go first quarter. Hawkins needs some help. Good defensive pressure by Joliet. Battle. Hawkins over to Jones. Ashmore to Hawkins to Lott. Thornridge being patient in the lane. Whistle and a foul going to be called on House. Number 30. Joel House picks up his first, second team foul on Joliet. LaMarcus Hawkins, 6'3", senior, to inbound the basketball. And into the corner it goes. Lott on the pass to Jones. Off the glass, blocked by Calderwood. Back comes Joliet. Nice defensive play by Calderwood. Calderwood on the move over Jones. Shoots for three, no. Ball is loose. Picked up by Satcher. Back to Calderwood. This shot put up and off. No good by Hosey. Rebound again picked up by Joliet. This shot no good. And finally, Jameel Jones comes out of the with it. Leads ahead to Ashmore who goes in. Gets the ball knocked away by Satcher. And talk about quickness. Joliet getting back on defense. Will put the ball in play under the Thornridge basket. Well, it looked like Thornridge had a breakaway to Ashmore, but Satcher came back quickly, broke up the play, and Joliet will put it in play under the uh, Thornridge basket. 5-3, Thornridge leading with 3.56 to go first quarter. Good hustle. Rory O'Connell, number 10 in the ballgame, Calderwood. O'Connell picked up by Hawkins. Calderwood, he's dangerous. He's got, uh, so far in the season, I believe it's 32 three-point baskets, so Calderwood can shoot it. Look to shoot, did not shoot, Bell does, a little long. Rebound tap, hauled out of there. House on the move in the lane, ball bouncing around and out of bounds was battle for Thornridge as he snatched the loose ball. 
Gary Bell, number 40, very active in the lane, rebounding. Calderwood. Steal by Lott. One against two. Juggles it. Knocked away. Good defensive play by Joel House to prevent a layup. But Lott had the numbers stacked against him on that fast break attempt. We've got 3.16 left to go first quarter. Joliet taking a timeout. The score is 5-3, to three, Thorn Ridge on top. Well, outstanding basketball action coming your way. Both these teams uh, looking to wrap up their conference portion of their schedule. Joliet, number one seed in their sectional in the state basketball tournament, which will start at the end of the month, as well as uh, Thorn Ridge, I believe, was seeded number six in the uh, sectional that has uh, one of the top favorites, which is Mount Carmel, seated number one. But uh, with Thornton and other fine teams in that sectional, uh, Thornridge is going to have their hands cut out, their work cut out to advance uh, past that stage. But the seating procedure that the IHSA has put into effect is meant to kind of guarantee that the top-rated teams will advance in the tournament. And, uh, of course, that will happen barring some upsets. Next Friday, Thornridge will be at home. They'll take on Bloom. Thornridge trying to protect its uh, share of first place with Thornwood in the sick east. Hawkins the inbound. 5-3 the score. Falcons on top. Inside it comes Battle. Loose ball and the travel called. Joliet will put it in play. Thornridge turning the ball over. Satcher into O'Connell. O'Connell looking at House. House dishes back O'Connell. Calderwood. O'Connell. Lob inside for Bell. Mismatch there against Jones. Stolen away by Jones. Jameel Jones back on the bounce. Pushes it up. Cut off by Calderwood. Lot for three. Yes. Three point shot by John Lott. That shot put up and in by Calderwood. Makes it 8-5, Thornridge on top. Got to get it in, got to get it in. They just do, Jones. Now they got to get across the 10-second line. Battle in a hurry, makes it. Cut off by Calderwood. Nice pass to Ashmore off the glass, no good. Rebound, Lott puts it up, no. This one snatched out of there by Gary Bell. Boy, Thornridge missing a lot of close shots. Bell on the move, pull up jumper. No, this rebound brought down by Ashmore. Richard Ashmore playing a lot, 6'6 senior. Lot. House all over him. And traveling called on Lot. Lot will sit down. And Derek Dillon will come in, number 32. John Lott sits down, five points on the ball game. 8-5 Thornridge leads with 1.49 to go, first quarter. Joliet just very cold from the field so far in this ball game. Thornridge has had a lot of high percentage shot, but also has not been able to hit much. O'Connell. Hosey back to O'Connell. Trying to work Calderwood inside now. Calderwood dishes out the corner. Hosey. O'Connell open. Missed the shot, rebound Ashmore. We got goaltending, what do we got? Nope. We got Gary Bell on a push. That on Bell is his second, third team foul on Joliet. Hawkins will inbound for the Falcons. Rollinson comes in for Thornridge. Hicks in the ball game, number 11.
Dillon having trouble. Hicks with it. Dishes back. Hawkins lost the handle. No whistle, no travel. Townsend, 8-5 Thornridge on top. Less than a minute to go, first quarter. O'Connell on the bounce. Hicks picks him up. Pull-up jumper by Calderwood, no good. Ball is loose, picked out of there by Hawkins, who's doing a good job. LaMarcus brings it up. Hicks for three, new no. rebound fight. Ashmore had it. They lose it out of bounds. Rollinson had it for a moment. Thornridge basketball. 8-5 the score with 34 seconds to go. First quarter. Hicks. Rollinson. Or check that Dillon. Ashmore. Hawkins, nice move, rejected by Satcher. Townsend picks it up. Back comes Joliet in a hurry with 13 seconds to go in the period. Calderwood for three, no, he hasn't hit anything tonight. Hicks in a hurry, one on three. Drives in, wanted to pass, shoots instead, bad shot. Calderwood with two seconds. Hits the bottom of the rim, goes out of bounds. That's the end of the first quarter and the score here at Thornridge High School. It's Thornridge eight and Joliet five. Well, while the first quarter may have lacked a little bit of scoring and preciseness and shooting, but uh, a lot of exciting play and some good defensive play. And I'm impressed with Joliet's ability to get back on defense in what looks like a Thornridge fast break. Uh, Joliet's able to get back and cover up very nicely. You got to figure that Joliet's going to start hitting their shots here sooner or later, Calderwood especially, because he uh, has 32 three-point shots on the season and has really been cold. Once they find the range, they should warm up maybe in the second quarter. They seem to do well in the second period. Hicks on the bounce. Ashmore in the corner, back to Hicks. Cross court, Dillon back to Hawkins. Dillon, Hawkins. We got a timeout taken by Thornridge. John Lott set to come back in the ball game for the Falcons. Jasper Williams taking timeout. Not particularly happy with the movement of the ball on offense that time. Joliet, however, has a good defensive ball club. They like to play a fine man-to-man -man defense, and they also will play a 1-3-1. They'll also press you occasionally. But in Thornridge, they've really met a team that's probably as quick as they are, so it's a matter of uh, sticking to that good defense and getting some shots to drop. Take a look at the Thornridge bench. Of course, Jasper Williams, the head coach, has been here at Thornridge for some 10 years and uh, his first year as a head coach. Replacing a Mike Flaherty, who uh, is taking a leave of absence to be with his wife. And Jasper, 15 and five record is not bad. He'd like to turn around these uh, close game losses that they've had recently and start winning some of the close ones. And maybe tonight would be the night they do that. Eight to five, Thorn Ridge leading. Thornridge has one player in foul trouble. That's uh, Marvin Olivier, who has uh, three personal fouls. Got them all in that first period. Hicks on the floor. Rollinson had all kinds of trouble. Hicks gets it back. Jermaine Hicks will go to the free throw line. Jermaine 5-4 junior. This will be the first free throw attempt for Thornridge in the basketball game. They have a three-point lead. Jasper Williams talking with the official down here on the by the scorer's bench. Both teams cold from the field. Both teams cold from the line. Three free throw attempts in this ball game, and nobody's hit one yet. 
Hicks, got it. He breaks the spell. Thornridge leads by four. Joliet bringing it up quickly. O'Connell. Nice pass inside. O'Connell gets it back. Posey back to O'Connell. Cross court pass. House drives in. Banks it up. No good. Tap no. Rebound snatched out of there by Lott. Up ahead to Hicks. Stolen away by O'Connell. Stepped right in the passing lane to House. Reverse under the basket. Good. House used the other side of the basket to uh, lay that in to protect himself from defensive pressure coming from the other side. It's 9-7. Thornridge lead now at two. They've led by as many as four. Long shot by Lott, no good. This rebound pulled down by Townsend. Lott strips it away on the, in, on the pass. And Lott climbing up the back of O'Connell will get the personal foul. That on John Lott will be his first. That's the fourth team foul on Thornridge. Joliet will inbound the basketball. William Hosey will do that, do that and O'Connell will bring it up. O'Connell, Hosey drives in. Pull up shot, no good. Rebound, fight, and it's fierce. Ball tapped out of bounds by Thornridge. It'll go to Joliet. The bodies are flying around that backboard. Calderwood comes in, O'Connell goes out. Gary Bell comes in. And Magus Brown, number 34, sits down. Joliet, got a lot of kids. They go about nine deep. They play a lot of them. I asked the coach before the ball game, what's your squad made up of? Mainly Joliet West or Joliet Central? And he says it's 7-7. Seven, seven. seven from Central, seven from West. Calderwood looking to get off the snide. House back to Calderwood. You got Bell working down on a low post area. Bell kicks it. Ball knocked out of bounds by Hawkins. Quick reactions as Hosey tried to get that pass down to Bell on the baseline. Calderwood. 9-7 Thornridge leading. 6-0-1 left to go here in the first half. Bank shot, no good by Hosey. Rebound, Calderwood was fouled. Nothing called. Up the court quickly. Lott followed from behind by House, and Lott jams her home. John Lott leads all scorers with seven. It's a four-point lead again for Thornridge. Hosey back to Calderwood. Townsend out front trying to set a screen. Hosey, Calderwood, Gary Bell, lob cross guard, Hosey. House spots up, shoots and hits it. Two-pointer for House, a difficult shot. Joel House with four, and it's 11-9. Thornridge on top. Hawkins. Hosey giving him defensive pressure. Nice pass to, and a whistle, a pass inside to Ashman. Foul called on Townsend, his second personal foul. 15 foul on Joliet. And Richard Ashman, a 6'6 senior, who is scoreless so far in the ballgame, will be at the free throw line. Thornridge, one out of three at the line. Everybody's shooting, kind of matching the weather outside, which is uh, miserable. Bounds around, no good, Bell with the rebound. So one for four at the line for Thornridge, while Joliet's 0 for two. Quick pass inside, Bell works the lane, puts it up and in. Nice push shot by Gary Bell. That is his first basket of the ball game, and we are tied at 11 all. Hawkins up the court quickly. Jones, lot for three, no. Rebound, Calderwood, comes back in a hurry. Three on three, forces it up. And Bell, looking, looking, says, hey, leave me open, I'll shoot it, and he hits it. Gary Bell with four, and Joliet leads, 13-11, their first lead of the ball game. Long shot by Jones, no good, rebound, all out of there by Battle, puts it up, no good. Boy, they missed a lot of layups. Lot in the lane, he misfires. Boy, anything under 10 feet is like that rim has got a lid on it. Foul inside on uh, Thornridge. 
called on battle. That's the 15 foul on Thornridge. Checking into the uh, Thornridge lineup is Marvin Olivier, and sitting down will be Richard Ashman. Calderwood to bring it up. 13 11. Joliet on top, their first lead of the ball game with 4 04 left to play, first half. Bell. Posey back to Calderwood. Doesn't pull up, faking, faking, looking, double team, passes out front, Posey. Calderwood, Hosey, Falcons in his own defense. Calderwood penetrates, shoots, and scores. Nice move by Ty Calderwood. That is his fourth point of the basketball game. Young man averages 15 and a half a game. Hawkins, Thornridge down by four. This is a big quarter for him. In the lane, in trouble. Jones drives, bank shot no good. Another close shot off the glass, they miss again. Man, Calderwood, dish off Hosey for three. New rebound, Hawkins, Bell knocks it away. Ball is loose, who's got it? Picked out of there, nice move by Satcher. Back to Calderwood for the jumper, no. Rebound, Jones. Tell you, Joliet is very, very active when that ball is on the floor. They're all over the place. Jones brings it up. Hawkins. Hawkins on the bounce, back to battle. Down low, shot is up and good by Olivier, his first basket of the ball game. It's 15-13. Four-point lead is the biggest for either team in this contest. Satcher back to Calderwood. Bell way out front. Satcher down low, wanted it, got it, knocked loose. Olivier's got it. Gives back to Jameel Jones, and back he comes. Jones between the legs on the dribble. Hawkins on the side. Brings it out top. Joliet man-to-man -man right now. Under two minutes to go in the first half. Two point ball game, long shot lot, no good. Loose ball, chased down, knocked away, and a foul. Is that Olivier reaching in? Yeah, that will be his fourth, he'll be out of there. Good shot at Jasper Williams, frustrated that uh, this ball club down by two points here, but still anybody's ball game. Ashman back in the contest. O'Connell gives back House, O'Connell. Knocked away, stolen out of there. Battle with a basketball against House. Lays it up and they hit one. Battle of his first basket, and we are all tied up at 15 apiece with 127 to go first half. House, O'Connell. Bank shot, no good. Rebound, again, Battle comes out of there with it. Four on two, and a whistle, and we got a foul in the backcourt. Foul called on Joel House, his second 16 foul. They'll shoot one and one. Checking in the lineup for Joliet is uh, William Hosey, number uh, 24. Hicks in the lineup, Jermaine Hicks for Thornridge right now. Battle on the bounce, Hawkins. Hicks. Thornridge now going to play it for the last shot. You got Ashmore and Rollinson in the ball game, your low post guys. Hicks battling Hawkins out front. Hicks with it. Drive by Battle. 
we're going to have a goaltend, I believe, on Satcher underneath. No, somebody got the net. Looks like Satcher is going to get the personal foul instead. Now let's see if it's one and one or two shots coming, looks like. Jason Battle on the free throw line. 15-15. And he hits the free throws. Thornridge now two out of five at the line. Gary Bell checking back in for Joliet. As Magus Brown, number 34, sits down. Jason Battle, six foot senior. Got a pair. 17-15, Thornridge back on top by two. They've led by as many as four, as has Joliet. O'Connell, 13 seconds to go. Posey, cross court, Calderwood, five seconds. Long shot, no good, would have been a three. Hauled out of there quickly, and a long shot banked, ooh, and just off target by Jason Battle as the first half ends here at Thornridge High School. An interesting first half, not many points. I'll tell you, both teams had their chances, and if we were to do a quick wrap on this ball game in the first half, Thornridge has missed a lot of close-in shots, and Joliet has yet to really warm up on three-point range, where Ty Calderwood has hit th 32 three-point shots on the season, so you know they can do it. But I think maybe the cold weather, the travel, whatever, they're cold, both teams are cold from the field, so it means it's time for defense and rebounding, and both teams have displayed that. I guess Joliet is interesting because it is a merged team from Joliet Central and Joliet West, and you would think coming from two different programs, they might not mesh as well, but it turns out that the coach at Joliet Central at one time was an assistant for Coach Mike O'Connell at Joliet, and what happened is uh, he spent four years at Joliet Central, so the kids that moved from Central to Joliet West to play basketball, why they were all in the same program all along, so there was some continuity to speak of, and maybe that's part of the reason why they're being so successful at 20 and 0 this season. Let's run down the scoring and officially as we have it here at halftime. Ty Calderwood has four points for Joliet, three for William Hosey, four points for Joel House, and four points for All-State candidate Gary Bell, who averages 24 points a ball game. So he's really got to catch on fire to get his average. John Lott, who averages 19.9 a ball game, has seven in the first half, three for Jameel Jones, two for Jason Battle and two for Marvin Olivier who's on the bench with four personal fouls. And an interesting first half has concluded. We'll be back with a third quarter of action right after this timeout. All right, the ball inbounded as we start the third quarter of action here at uh, Thornridge High School in Dalton. 17-15, Falcons on top of Joliet, and what would be a big upset if Joliet was to lose? They're unbeaten on the season, 20-0. House on the drive gives back to Calderwood. Calderwood looking around, the house in the corner. Lot jumps out on him, ball picked up by Calderwood, drives a lane, shot put up and in by Gary Bell. They got it to the big guy, and he has a quick two points to tie this ball game up at 17-all. Hawkins, Bell working in the backcourt, knocked it loose. Hawkins having trouble, gets it up across court to Jameel Jones. Jones with it. Bell at 6'5". You saw him play that guard position out front defensively. He may be big, but he is quick. Hawkins. Ashmore. Ashman, rather. Bank shot, no good. Follows up, taps up, no good. Tap again, no good. Hawkins in the lane, clears it out of there. Back to Jones. Jones, the battle. Battle on the bounce. Hawkins, Ashman, Jameel Jones, trying to get around house, can't do it, back to Hawkins. Good defense by Joliet, they match up real well. Long shot by Battle, no, off the mark. Rebound snatched out of there quickly. And back in a hurry is Hosey, he feeds ahead to house, ball knocked loose, house picks it up again, shoots again, got it. House with six and it's 19-17. Joliet on top, start the second half. Jason Battle, 23, back up on the bounce. 
Gets by his man, Hosey. Battle bounce inside for Ashman. Off his hands, out of bounds. It'll be Joliet basketball. Big turnover here. Calderwood to bring it up. Joliet Township on top, 19-17. Calderwood on the bounce. Into the corner. House. Good matchup with John Lott there. Inside Bell wheels and deals down the lane, flips it up and in, and he got fouled. Man, that was a big time move. And if we get a chance, let's try to take a look at it again. Lot on the foul. Bell going for the three point conversion here if he makes the free throw. Bell misses. Well, Joliet has not hit a free throw in the ball game. They're 0 for 3. Calderwood wants a timeout, and he gets it. Was being tied up, called timeout. The alternate possession arrow would have given the ball to the Falcons, so a heads-up play by Ty Calderwood. And if we got that replay, uh, Randy, let's take a look at it. What do you think? Well, we'll give you a chance to cue it up again. We've got a Thornridge player belly down on the floor. And it might be, uh, let's see, could it be battle? And it is battle. And if we can get uh, Gary Bell's driving move down the lane on which he was fouled but made the shot, we'll take a look at it. Timeout on the floor, 21-17, a four-point lead for Joliet that matches the biggest lead they've had in the ball game. But we're at a pivotal point in this third quarter now with 6.02 left to play. Thornridge doesn't want to let it slip away here at this point. With battle on the floor, that's not a good sign. Earlier, prior to the start of the ball game, we had a cheerleader injured doing a tumbling move. And let's see if we can take a look at that play. Bell down the lane, nice finger roll off the glass and good was fouled. He missed the follow-up free throw that would have completed a three-point play, but battle on the floor. As I mentioned, one of the cheerleaders was injured doing a tumbling routine, and she had to be taken off on a stretcher to the hospital, but she was sitting up alert. Hopefully, she'll be all right. But battle getting up. Got his bell rung. And six-foot senior Jason Battle comes off the floor. They got to mop up the floor a little bit. And Joliet coming back out of the floor as Thornridge breaks their huddle. So we've got Lott, Ashman, Hicks, Hawkins, and Jamil Jones in the lineup for Thornridge as the Falcons trail by four, and Joliet has the basketball. Calderwood knocked away by Jones off of Calderwood. Thornridge basketball. Hawkins to inbound. Gets it into Jones. Triple teamed up the court. Hawkins in a hurry. Drives in over Townsend. Offensive foul. Townsend was sit just sitting there like a brick wall. And Hawkins. Hit him full bore. And a technical foul called on Jasper Williams as he got off the bench to complain about the foul call. So we're going to have a little free throw activity here as Ty Calderwood will go to the free throw line. So far, Joliet 0 for 3 at the charity stripe tonight. Let's see if Calderwood can end it. This could be a real big play here in this third quarter. Calderwood with a free throw. Now has five points. He gets the pair. Now has six, and Joliet will get the basketball. So it's now a six-point lead. And Joliet Township will also have the basketball as they look to improve their 20-0 record with a win here tonight. Calderwood in the backcourt, picked up by Hicks. Jermaine Hicks, 5-4 against Calderwood, who goes six feet. Calderwood bounced it off his foot out of bounds. 
Juliet with full court man-to-man -man pressure right now. Hawkins. And quickly Jones, House giving him the elbow and a whistle and a foul on House. And on Joel House is his third. And I've got him with their first team foul here in this uh, third quarter. 5.40 left to play, 23-17, Joliet on top. Hawkins into Hicks. Hawkins cut off by Townsend. Quentin Townsend, a big man, 6'6", 32. Jones lob inside the lot. Townsend knocked it away. Calderwood brings it back. A big possession here for Joliet. Hosey doesn't shoot. Townsend says give it back. Hosey for three. Yeah, nails it. Boy, they left him open, and he drilled it. That's his second three of the ball game. They called a foul on Gary Bell. Got his third on Bell. And Thornridge turns the ball over. 26-17 now. The nine-point lead, the biggest for Joliet in this ball game, is Thornridge has scored only, is not actually hasn't even scored at all here in this third quarter with 5-11 left to play. So timeout taken. Let's see if the Falcons can regroup. They've got a big ball game coming up on Friday at home. They'll take on Bloom. The Trojans come to town. Thornridge trying to uh, maintain a share of first place in the Sika East Conference. They are 6-2 and two in conference play, tied with Thornwood for first place. Blumen also ran at this point. Joliet cruising in the uh, Sika West. Joliet just uh, playing good basketball, good sound basketball. The team's meshing very well. Their next conference game will be a home contest at Joliet uh, when they pay host to uh, Romeoville. And Romeoville gave uh, Thornridge all it could handle earlier in the season. Falcons down by nine. Joliet will inbound the ball with 5-11 to go here third quarter. Joliet has had it all their own way. They trailed by two at halftime, but have scored 11 to none for Thornridge in the third. Lott misses the layup, shot put up by Ashman, no good. Lott again the rebound, tough shot, and Gary Bell drags it out of there. Thornridge just not hitting the close shots off the glass. Shot by House is there, it's a three. House with nine, 29, 17. That Thornridge basket's got a lid on it, Hicks. Coming up against Bell. Well, we figured it would only be a matter of time before Joliet warmed up to the three-point shot, and it has happened here in the third. Lot working on house, drives in, pull-up jumper. Bank shot is good. That's the first basket for Thornridge in his third quarter. Lot with nine. Hosey, why not? Everybody else is hitting him. Out of bounds, off of Lot. Joliet basketball. Well, William Hosey is a setup man, but he was so wide open, they just about dared him to take that shot. Calderwood. House, Hosey. Calderwood gets the handle back over to House. He launches a three. Air ball. Townsend tries to save it. It's going to be Thornridge basketball. Well, the Falcons have trailed by as many as 12. They're down by 10 now with 4.06 to go third period. They need a rally. Hicks brings it up. Went to shoot, decided to pass, and a blocking foul called on Quentin Townsend. It's 6'6", 232. He can block a lot just by standing there. Good look at Jasper Williams as he tries to find some answers to this Joliet defense. The answer is put the ball in the bucket. Thornridge is dead cold from the field. Only two points in the period with 
Less than four minutes to play. Free throw shot is up and good by Derek Dillon. Thornridge now four out of seven at the line. Dillon misses the second. And Gary Bell fouled in the backcourt by Jameel Jones. Joliet will inbound the basketball. For Jameel is first. Gary Bell, 6'5", junior at the beginning of the season, was rated as the best junior in the state. Averaging 24 points a ball game. He's a player. O'Connell dishes back Calderwood from the corner. No good. Calderwood just having a rough night shooting. Breakaway layup by Lott. Jams it. Lott's second stuff for the ball game. It's 29-22. Thornridge on a mini comeback now down by seven. O'Connell. To Gary Bell. Bell can play inside. He can play outside. He can kill you just about any way you want it. Against Hicks, no matchup. He launches a three, no good. Rebound fight. Hicks comes out of there with it. Lot ahead, one on three. Hicks holds it up. Ball is loose, picked up by Ashman, bounces off a body, shoots no good. Rebound, Ashman again. Yes, and he's fouled. Richard Ashman drops it home. Hung with it and got it to go. 29-24, Thornridge, which trailed by 12, 29-17. Now trails by five with 3.03 to go third quarter. Falcons four out of eight at the line. Let's see what Ashman can do and he misses. Gonna go the other way. Joliet inbound. Hosey to get it in. Calderwood with the basketball and he'll bring it up. Calderwood. O'Connell. Working at perimeter. Satcher, we got a whistle and a holding foul inside. And it's going to be on Thornridge, and Derek Dillon picks it up. I think that's about the 15 foul now on Thornridge here in this second half. So Joliet getting close to the bonus situation. O'Connell to inbound. Joliet up by five. Satcher shoots. Air ball. Off the floor. Picked up by Thornridge. Lot ahead to Hicks. Hicks on the drive at 5-4 in the land of the Giants. Gets his own rebound. Double teamed. Pass from Dillon to Ashman. Bank shot no good. And I want to tell you, O'Connell, did he take a header into the pine? Ooh. Ashman practicing his free throw shooting stroke, but O'Connell really took a bounce. 29-24, 224 to go third quarter, five-point lead. Let's see if Ashman could cash in. He missed a moment ago at the free throw line. Got the bounce on that one. It was a high one. Thornridge at 50% now, five out of ten. And nothing but net. Ashman now with four points, 29, 26. Thornridge trailed by 12. They've run off 10 straight points. Shot no good by Calderwood. Rebound and a foul. No basket, however, as Hosey got it, put it back up, and got fouled. Ashman picks up the personal foul. 16 foul on the Falcons. Hosey will be at the line, probably shoot two. Gary Bell comes out, and number 34, Magus Brown, comes in for Joliet. Lot in for Thornridge. Joliet two out of five at the line tonight. And make it three out of six. Posey two three-pointers and a free throw on the evening's work. 2.13 to go here, third quarter. And missed the second. Three out of seven for Joliet. Back in a hurry. John Lott drives in, puts it up. No good. Rebound. 
Lot again, no good. Rebound Ashman. Wheels to the basket. He was fouled, and he'll shoot two. Foul is called on 44, Oku Satcher. Richard Ashman will go to the free throw line. So Thornridge on a 10 to one run here, getting back in the ball game, trailing by four. They trail by as many as 12 and Ashman. Thornridge six out of 12. Seven out of 13 as Ashman got the second. Ashman with five points in the period. O'Connell with under two minutes now for the third quarter. Calderwood to O'Connell. Calderwood. O'Connell. Fakes doesn't shoot. Hosey fakes doesn't shoot. O'Connell. Calderwood. And Juliet trying to be patient, get a good shot. Calderwood open for three. No, he can't buy it. He hasn't hit one tonight. And he's their best. Layup. No, oh, no good. Hicks and a foul. We're going to have a push on John Lott. John Lott picks up his third. So with 1.29 to go in the third quarter, we'll march to the other end and Joliet will shoot because they're in the bonus. Tell you, it's physical under that basket, no doubt about it. Rory O'Connell, 5'10 junior on the free throw line. Well, they're not going to win any awards. They're three out of eight at the line. Hicks. Jones back to Hicks. Jermaine, nice pass. Ashman off the glass. Got it. Ashman, the scoring hero and a foul in the backcourt. Hicks against O'Connell. Ashman was seven points in this quarter. The leading scorer for Thornridge, it's 30 to 29. They have battled back from a 29 to 17 deficit to pull within one with O'Connell of Joliet on the line. Got it. Joliet now four out of nine. O'Connell's first point in the basketball game. Can he make it two? No, way off the mark. 40% shooting from the line for Joliet tonight, four out of 10. Hicks back, a minute left to go, third quarter. 31-29, Joliet. Hicks banks it home. We are tied, 31. Inside, shot no good, rebound put up by Calderwood. That shot was no good by Brown, but Calderwood had the rebound. Calderwood with eight points in the ball game. Hawkins checking into the Thornridge lineup. Foul called on O'Connell of Joliet. His first. Jones looking inbound. Looking, 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 looking. They better hurry up. They just get it in. Hawkins with it. 33-31. Joliet on top by two. They play good defense. And right now, it's keeping them in the ball game. They led by 12, but Thornridge has come back. They've been managing to hit some shots in the paint. Hawkins, 25 seconds. Jones. Hawkins, 17 seconds. Offensive foul. And Coach Williams does not like the call. Hawkins gets nailed. And Hawkins, his second personal foul. O'Connell will bring it up, 14 seconds to go, third quarter. Joliet up by two. They trail by two at halftime. They trail by three at the quarter. 
Calderwood a three-point shot, his first of the ball game. He has 11, that makes it 36-31. Joliet at the end of three. Well, Joliet came out of fire and built up a 12-point lead. Watch Thornridge chip away, chip away, chip away, get back to within one, and they now lead by five. Joliet on top by five, 36-31 at the end of three. And we'll be back with the exciting fourth quarter in just a moment. Coach Jasper Williams of Thornridge upset with this charging call on Hawkins. The feeling being that Sactor didn't have position, but boy, it was close. It was bang, bang. Sactor might have been there just a split second before uh, Hawkins got there, and uh, therefore Hawkins got the charge foul, which gave Calderwood a chance to come back to the other end and can the three, which has given Joliet a five-point lead as we start this third quarter. Make a fourth quarter. Hicks with the basketball working on O'Connell. And inside Lott, Ashman, and a foul over the back on Townsend. I got Townsend with four. Perhaps I'm incorrect, but let's see. It is his fourth. So Richard Ashman on the free throw line. Ashman at the line was three out of five in the third quarter. Led Thornridge in scoring with seven points and misses. Thornridge, 7 of 14, as Joliet brings it up, leading by five. And we've got a foul away from the ball. Looks like Derek Dillon's going to get it, number 32. For Dillon is second, and he looks perplexed. And... The guy who gave him that cause, that case of perplexion, if you want to call it that, is uh, Gary Bell, who's at the free throw line. Bell, averaging 24 points a ball game. He ain't going to get it tonight unless he goes crazy in the fourth because he's only got six points so far in the contest. And he gets the second. He'll get the bonus. Joliet, five out of 11 at the line. Uncharacteristically... Poor free throw shooting for them tonight. But Bell helps straighten that out. He hits a pair. Bell now with eight points in the basketball game. Jones gets it in the lot. Double team. They double team the guy with the ball. Joliet forces the turnover. Bell back. They lose it. O'Connell's got it to Bell inside. Look out. He's a man among boys inside. He's got two more points. Give him 10 in the ball game. And just like that, Joliet is back up by nine. And we got a foul called on Derek Dillon, who knocked O'Connell out of bounds away from the ball, jockeying for position on the inbounds play. Dillon comes out, Hawkins back in. Third foul on Dillon, and it's going to be Joliet at the free throw line. They're in the bonus. Both teams in the bonus, O'Connell to shoot. O'Connell two out of three at the line. Joliet now seven out of 13. Free throws even, seven made by both teams. And he cans them both. Eight out of 14 for Joliet, and O'Connell now with three points, all at the charity stripe. Hawkins brings it up, 42-31. Again, Joliet pulling away. Can Thornridge mount another comeback? Hicks. With 7.07 left to go in the ball game. To Jones, back to Hicks. Inside Ashman, and he got hacked on the arm by Townsend, and that will be his fifth. So Quentin Townsend, 6'6", 232 pounds, has picked up his fifth personal foul. He'll have to sit down. It'll send Ashman to the free throw line. And Ashman in the second half has been the main offensive force for Thornridge in this ball game. So Oku Thatcher will, or Satcher will come back in the ball game for Joliet, number 44. They go from 6-6 to 6-2 as the 6-2 junior comes in. Townsend sits down with no points in the ball game.
Ashman hits the free throw. Thornridge, 8 out of 15. Missed the second. Got to make those free throws when you're down by 11. Down by 10 now with the one made. Calderwood. Ball knocked loose by Hicks. Calderwood gets it back. Double team. Calderwood with the ball. Dishes off. House for three. No. High arching rebound. Snatched out of there by Jones. Up quickly comes Hicks. Wants to push it. Nothing there. Calderwood knocks it loose. He picks it up. Lays it up. And is fouled by Jones. That's all he could do. Calderwood, good heads up defensive play to knock the ball loose as Hicks a little out of control trying to push that ball up the floor. Second foul on Jones as you look at the Falcon player. Calderwood at the free throw line, 42-32, Joliet. Well, I wouldn't exactly classify this as a uh, chart-busting victory, but uh, some nights when you don't hit it, you have to play defense and hustle, and Joliet has plenty of that and has had it tonight. And they're now starting to make their free throws. Calderwood with 12 points in the ball game. Calderwood will get a rest. Jones to inbound the basketball. Battle with the basketball for Thornridge. Lot for three, no. Rebound, Gary Bell just took it right away from Jones. Think about Bell, that he's got the quickness of a smaller player, but with that size, he just has a physical presence out there. And whoever matches up with him has got a problem. Sachter. Satcher drops it home, his first basket, and it's 46-32. The biggest lead for Joliet in this ballgame now, a 14-point margin. And we got a foul on the backcourt, called on Gary Bell. On a hold. And I got four on Bell. Five forty-three to play, 46-32. Demarcus Hawkins will be the free throw line. He has zero points in the ball game. Coach Jasper Williams says, well, we're going to play this ball game tonight. We're not really concerned about it. We're worried, more worried about our conference portion of the schedule. They want to win the conference first. That's their foremost goal right now. Lamar Hawkins misses the free throw. Barnridge now eight out of 17. O'Connell brings it up and gives over to Calderwood. Calderwood, Lott knocked it away from behind. And Thornridge will get the ball. Joliet fans not real happy about that call, but that's the way it is. Jameel Jones on the bounce. Hawkins. Battle from 15, got it. Battle now with six in the ball game. 46-34, Thornridge is gonna have to press, run, and hope for the best. Pull up shot in the lane is not there by Magus Brown. Thornridge with the ball. Jones needing some help, double teamed. Ashman knocked away by O'Connell. Good hustle by Rory O'Connell to break up that drive by Ashman. O'Connell picks up the foul. And Ashman, who has made a living in the second half at the free throw line, is there again. Hitting about 50% from the line. Thornridge now 8 out of 18. This free throw shooting is just killing them here in the stretch. They've got to make him. With only 4.51 left to play, they're just burying themselves. He misses a pair. Good grief. O'Connell, Jones tries to step in and steal. Calderwood, 
Steal attempt by Ashman and Satcher is fouled. Foul on Jones. I'll check that. They give it to Hawkins. Hawkins picks up his third. And it puts uh, Oku Setcher on the free throw line. The young man had a big game against Lincoln Way over the weekend. And he misses a free throw. 10 out of 17 at the line for Joliet. They came into this contest, believe it or not, hitting 63% of their free throws. But tonight, I don't know whether it's the weather or what. Must be the low pressure system going by, but nobody's hitting a thing from the free throw line. 12-point lead for Joliet, 4.37 to play. Satcher, no. Rebound fight. Brown had it. Calderwood in the lane. Almost had it stuffed. Brown had it. Loses it. It's going to be Joliet ball. They say Thornridge touched it last. Calderwood to O'Connell. Calderwood drives in, running shot, no good. This one hauled out of there by Thornridge. Back comes Hicks. On the side battle as the traffic go by, and man, he got hit by Satcher like a Mack truck from behind. Nothing like a knee in the back to wake you up. Physical ball game, Satcher with his third. Jason Battle will go to the free throw line. It's 46-34, Joliet with 4.16 left to play. Joliet trying to up its record to a perfect 21-0, and uh, Thornridge trying to go 16-5. Battle's got the free throw. He's the only player in this ball game, I believe, that's perfect from the line, unless uh, well, Calderwood's three out of three, I believe. And battle with a pair. Makes them while the clock is stopped. Satcher to inbound. Thornridge going to pick him up man to man. O'Connell. Double team. Now they slack off. Hawkins all over him. Satcher. Picks on him, Calderwood gives back to Satcher off the glass. Yeah, nice layup by Satcher. Forty-eight thirty-six. Battle couldn't find the handle on the Hicks pass. Turnover. Ball goes to Joliet. Timeout taken by Thornridge as Jasper Williams tries to assemble his troops for one final cavalry charge here as they need to get back in the ball game down by twelve with three fifty-four left to go. We'd like to bring your way also more high school basketball action at the end of the season. In the last regular season game or conference game for TF North, we'll be there to bring you Hillcrest at TF North on Friday, February 25th. Now, as you know, TF North leads the uh, Sika Central Conference. I believe they're 6 and 0, have a perfect record, and the interesting thing about that is they have already defeated Hillcrest, the team that was picked to win that thing. Uh, earlier in the season, about a couple of weeks ago, at Hillcrest, so the rematch will be at uh, TF North, and Hillcrest will need a win, or maybe TF North needs to lose along the way to tie things up, but TF North in the driver's seat right now in that Sika Central Conference race, and we will have that game Friday, February 25th at 10.30 right here on Channel 18. That's Hillcrest at TF North, and that ought to be a dandy ball game. All right, Joliet, Joliet's Ty Calderwood to inbound the basketball. And Thornridge now got their defensive signal straight, and away we go. Posey with it. Almost lost control there for a second, got it back. He drives all the way in and says, hey, I'll take this shot. It's no good. The rebound brought out of there by Rollinson. Long shot, no good by Hicks. Rollinson the rebound, good. And we've got a whistle. 
timeout taken by Joliet. 48-38, Thornridge on a bit of a comeback here with 3.30 to go as they force that turnover. And Joliet coach Mike O'Connell wants to take a timeout. For Coach O'Connell, an interesting uh, state of mind. He's uh, been quoted in the newspaper as saying, well, I'm not worried about this 20-0 uh, record. We win, we win. He's just having fun. He says some of his assistant coaches are taking this far more seriously than he is because he's had some four-win seasons, and he's just enjoying the bounty of victories that he's had so far this year. Jasper Williams, on the other hand, he's got a ball club that's got some talent. They need to play under control. They need to make some free throws. Uh, and they've had some tough luck shooting close in. But they're down by 10 with 3.30 left to go, and this could be the last gasp in the ball game for the Falcons. They're being led in scoring by John Lott with 11 points. Richard Ashman has a seven. Or check that, yes, has eight points, rather. Ashman with eight. Down by 10. Let's see if Thornridge can force some more turnovers and make some baskets. Sashard inbound. Calderwood's got it. Behind the back dribble taken away. Battle. Goes for the layup. Got it. 48-40, two turnovers in a row. Satcher having trouble, gets it in. House with it. Thornridge applying the pressure. John Lott on House. Lott tries to knock it away from behind. Calderwood with the basketball. Joliet would like to run some clock. This will be good practice for him. Gary Bell with it. Hawkins on in, Bell. Satcher in the corner, back out front. Hosey back to Calderwood. Bell with it. Big guy's got it, looking for some room to operate. Drives in, lays it up. Oh, a nice move by Gary Bell. That was a beauty. Oh, great play by Bell. And we got a foul from behind called on William Hosey. On the block. One and one coming. Looks like Battle will be on the free throw line. Bell now with 12 points in the ball game. Battle on the free throw line. Battle with 10 points in the contest. It's perfect at the line, four for four. And makes it five for five. Thornridge nine out of 20 at the line. Twelve points for battle, 50-42. Bell with the ball, gets away from three Falcons at the line, double clutches in the air, gives off, House can't get it, Satcher can't get it, and a foul inside. I'll tell you what, Bell just did get rid of that basketball. He's a player. Satcher, a 6'2 junior, will go to the free throw line. Battle checks out. Jones checks in for the Falcons. Entertaining ball game and a fairly decent crowd on hand here on a Tuesday night with the snow just piling up outside. Satcher hits. Five points in the ball game, his first free throw attempt. And bags them both. Joliet 12 out of 20. 52-42, maintaining that 10-point lead. 2.24 left to go. They took control in the third quarter. Build a 12, blew it. Led by five at the quarter break. And man, Jones went up and came down hard. Ouch. Ew, that smarts. We've got a foul on Joel House. That's his fourth. Yeah, 
Is there a chiropractor in the house? We need one tonight. I'm telling you. Bodies flying everywhere. Even the cheerleaders have fallen victim to it. Jones, Coach Williams, and the trainer down there checking them out. Let's watch this play. Shot goes up. Jones goes in and gets tangled up and comes down hard on his side, it looked like. And he's down. Ouch. It's kind of like watching a train wreck on replay, you know what I mean? <laughs> 215 left to play. Joliet leading by 10 points, 52-42. They started very slowly. Thornridge led 8-5 at the end of the first quarter. The first half, Thornridge led by 2, 17-15. It was 36-31 at the end of three after Joliet had built a 12-point lead and then watched Thornridge come back to cut it to one. They took a five-point lead at the end of three and basically have uh, just moved it on out in this fourth quarter. Been making some free throws. They started very slowly at the free throw line. They've kind of been picking up their uh, competency there. And very workmanlike, I guess, is the best way you could term their performance here tonight. A workmanlike performance, not really hot from the field, not really sharp from the free throw line, but with good hustle, good defensive skills, and enough talent to stay on top of Thornridge. Jones is down. And I'll tell you what we'll do with this timeout on the floor here. We'll take a break. We'll be back with action to wrap up this ball game. 2.15 left to play. It's Joliet 52, Thornridge 42. Jameel Jones off the floor now, the injured player. Shooting the free throw will be uh, Jason Battle, who has been perfect from the line. He's made six, make that two, four, six of six. Basically, he needs to do what Thornridge needs, and that is to make some free throws and hit some three-point shots to get back in this ball game. Down by nine. Missed the second. That hurts. Loose ball off the hands of uh, Rollinson. Calderwood inbounds. Gary Bell back quickly. Double teamed and a foul. Jermaine Hicks picks up the foul, his second. Gary Bell will go to the free throw line. Bell with 12 points in the contest. Thirteen out of twenty-one, much more respectable than they were earlier when they were four out of ten. Bell with thirteen and fourteen. Hicks on the bounce. Fifty-four, forty-three. Under two minutes to play now. Battle, lost control, loose ball, O'Connell's got it, gives back to Calderwood, back to O'Connell. Calderwood, tried behind the back pass to Hosey, and quick enough to get back and pick up the deflection. Calderwood, Hosey. And a reach in foul, called on Battle. They got to get him at the line because uh, the clock is running down. 130 left to play, 54 43. Joliet on top. You notice Joliet wearing the Joliet Central jerseys. Uh, 
once they get a nickname I'm sure they'll have new jerseys next season and the word is it will be Steelman. Posey with the free throw now has eight points in the ball game. And he hits a pair. Now 15 out of 23 is Hosey cans a pair. 56-43, Hicks into the corner, it goes. Long shot by Lott is no good. He has cooled off appreciably in the second half. Rejected out of there, Grant. Gary Bell for the jam. Bell now with 16 points. He had four points at the half. 58-43. Long shot by Lott. Got it. Got a three. Hicks picks up the personal foul, his third. And O'Connell will go to the free throw line. 58-46. John Lott with that three, but Lott with uh, 14 points in the ball game. It's seven in the first half, seven in the second half. And he sits down. Less than a minute to play, 58-46, Joliet. O'Connell drills it. Well, they might get their free throw percentage for the season yet. They're 16 out of 24. Connell with uh, four points on the ball game and make it five. Hicks drives in and we got a reach in foul on O'Connell, number 10 or someone else, let's see. O'Connell beating on the play, reached in. Hicks on the free throw line. And make it. Thornridge 11 of 24 at the line. Oh, a follow up jam by Gary Bell. Look at that, huh? Bell with 18 now, closing in on his average. Battle, no, and a foul. Somebody got him with a leg. Satcher. I'll tell you what. Bell is the real deal. He can handle it. And he is back for another year, just being a junior. Battle doing well at the line. He's only missed one free throw tonight. Thornridge now 12 out of 25. 13 out of 26, Battle cans another one. Calderwood, layup good by Hosey. 64, 48, long shot, no good by Hicks. Battle drives in and a foul. Two shots coming. Satcher on the foul. Battle on the line. I think he's just getting worn out shooting free throws. He shot so many of them. 
Battle with 15 points in the ball game leads Thornridge in scoring and he misses a pair. Thornridge 13 out of 28 at the line certainly has hurt their own. You've got to shoot free throws at home. That's all there is to it. Battle lays it up and in. Now got 17 points. That is the ball game with the final score. 64 to 50. Joliet winning and really putting this ball game away in the fourth quarter. They just kept the pressure on and finally Thornridge ran out of bullets tonight trying to catch up. Could not mount that last charge in the fourth quarter to get back in the ball game. And Joliet, an impressive win. They upped their record to 21-0. Thornridge falls to 15-6. And, and both teams will return to conference action. Next Tuesday, uh, Romeoville visits uh, Joliet and uh, Thornridge on Friday night will host Bloom. We mentioned Joliet started off slow at the free throw line. At one point, they were actually 4 out of 10 at the line. They wound up 17 out of 25. Thornridge uh, kind of started mediocre and stayed that way. They wound up 13 out of 28 at the line. And anytime you shoot less than 500 shooting free throws on your own court, you know you're in for a long night. Thornridge missed a lot of easy shots close in early, uh, shots that they should have made, but still managed to lead by three points at the end of the first quarter, led by two at the half, trailed by five after trailing by as many as 12 in the third. They wound up trailing 36 to 31 at the end of three. Then in the fourth quarter, just steadily fell behind and could not mount another charge to get back in the ball game. Let's give you some unofficial scoring stats as we have them. Ty Calderwood with 13 points for Joliet. William Hosey, two, nine points for Joel House. And let's see, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18 points for Bell. We had uh, five points for Rory O'Connell, six points for Oku Satcher. For Thornridge, John Lott with 14, 17 points for Jason Battle, eight points for Richard Ashman, who came alive in the second half. One point for Derek Dillon, two points for Shelley Rollinson, and three points for Jermaine Hicks. Thornridge, as we mentioned, now 15 and six, and Joliet, a perfect 21 and 0, and Joliet, the second ranked team in the Chicagoland area. You kind of wonder, you know, sometimes coaches uh, or, or fans uh, get kind of superstitious and would like to see a, an undefeated team uh, lose one before they go into the state tournament so that they kind of get that upset uh, mentality out of their system. But the upset was not going to be here tonight as Joliet prevails 64 to 50. Once again, a reminder that Channel 18 will bring you another high school basketball game as we round out our coverage for the season. The end of February on Friday, February 25th, we will bring you the Hillcrest at TF North game, and that should be a dandy. We hope you'll join us on Friday, February 25th at 10.30 p.m. for that. Hillcrest at TF North. I'd like to thank our crew, Randy Draves, the director, Ken Wright on camera down on the floor, Willie Wright on camera one, and on camera two, Dana Hall. I'm Steve Klinkert. Thanks for joining us. So long, everybody.